Okay, here we have the coil and here we can see where the break was in the coil. Right here is where it was broken and that's why, uh, obviously why it would have quit. Here's just a close up view of obviously something had been bouncing around inside. You can see where it's all pitted and kind of marked up. I was not surprised to see this. Um, basically because when I first got these speakers, this woofer did have some coil rub. So um, somebody had refoamed them and hadn't got the voice coil perfectly straight. And yes, yeah, it was quite obviously rubbing uh, really bad right here. As for what was bouncing around inside uh, to cause the marks on the voice coil, I'm guessing it would be this piece here that is missing right where it was rubbing. Um, it was a piece of the former obviously came off. I did find the little piece inside there. Um, that was most likely what was causing all those marks on the coil. Well, with that voice coil um, not being repairable and having all that damage on it, there's really nothing else I can do other than uh, order a recone kit for this guy and uh, yeah, going to have to uh, rebuild it, I guess. But for now, I'm going to get the rest of this cleaned up and I'll just get this basket ready for the new recone kit. And then once that comes in, time to redo.